my lovely people out there. All of you starving college students who are right in the middle of finals week. Ha! And you're still watching this. Go you! It is Inquisitor Aura. I am also a college student, so I kind of have, kind of know what you're feeling. I kind of dig it. I'm there. Well, we're good. Um, and this is Dragon Age Inquisition. We are going to get on out of the hinterlands. There's so much other stuff we could be doing right now, and I would rather just get on getting on with it. I'm pretty sure you would rather I just get on getting on with it. So let's just go ahead and make all that happen. So once again, taking a look around. Here's your party. We got me. Um, you should actually be kind of surprised that I haven't restarted yet because um, I'm really kind of not happy with the way my character looks now. But too late to change that. Uh, and with me I have Sandra over here who's hot and kind of that scary sort of way and I have uh, this chick over here. I love her, Vivienne, the super hot mage. And then Solus, who's my other mage, who's just kind of there. She's kind of there to, to keep me bubbled and, and stuff like that. And of course myself, the Inquisitor. Make sure I'm I'm good. I'm set up. I'm ready to go. Good. We're there. Let's move on. Out of here. And I know that Dragon Age is going to be patching um, their PC control soon. So hopefully I can change some things around and you know not have my this clicky button on my mouse be my attack all the time, so that I can actually you know pick which buttons I want to use so that I can run and which buttons are going to be my auto attack and blah 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 things like that or you know oh hey Kaylee how are you doing uh your uh Jesse Dora's um other half I, I don't know what the technical term for it is and I'm not gonna make an assumption so um hi welcome to my stream this is Dragon Age. I hope you enjoy watching me fumble around and blow things up. <laughs> oh, hi, Jess! So I just waved insanely at her. If she's not watching, which she might be. <laughs> oh, come on, Dragon Age. Why does it take so long for you to learn? Oh, that's good news. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are actually going to go ahead and head on out of the hinterlands, but first, I am going to make my people drink some potions, get themselves completely healed up, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a quick travel down here to one of our Inquisition camps. It doesn't really make a difference which one we decide we're going to pick. I'm just going to go to the outskirts camp because it's there. It's the first one that I found, um, and this will... Uh, automatically refresh all of my potions. Um, so far, Dragon Age has been extraordinarily intriguing. Um, in the very beginning, it's like you're the only one who's here. There's this huge, massive civil war going on in. Let's see, automatically refills. There's this massive civil war going on between the mages, which I am. Um, there I go, blowing things up again. Um, between mages and templars. Now, magic is very, very dangerous in uh, Theta, which is the land that Dragon Age takes place in. I'm gonna just go back to Haven real quick. Uh, take care of some quests and stuff like that. Um, and on one side you have the mages, and the mages have access to a place called the Fade. The Fade is where the magic is where magic comes from. And the Fade is also where spirits and, and demons and things of that nature live. Um, so mages, when they use magic, they open themselves up to these sorts of nasty creatures that can, if a mage is not careful, possess them and come into their bodies and their body, the physical world and actually start just going into people's houses at night and wrecking up the place. Um, to keep that from happening, the mages have the Templars to deal with. Now the Templars are, are basically mage hunters and mage killers. It's, it's, it's what they do. Um, they keep uh, phylacteries from each mage that is sent to um, 
the base training facilities, which are known as circles, and uh, they use those to hunt down mages who go rogue. Any mage that is not a member of the circle is considered an apostate. Um, and at one point in Dragon Age 2, which was the game that preceded this one, um, um, a mage named Anders started a civil war. He basically said, we're, we're mages, we're not here to be feared, we just want to be left alone, we don't need to be controlled, we're not weapons, we're people, and the Templar seem to have forgotten that, so he basically went into the Templar headquarters in a land called Kirkwall, which is up, now that there's a little map thingy here, ignore the, the Ferelden thing, up here in the Free Marches. This is where Kirkwall is, because this is where Dragon Age 2 takes place. And he basically blows up the um, the Templar's headquarters, uh, thereby inciting a civil war that has been taking place for many, many years now. Um, yes, uh, Dragon Age has some very impressive lore for, for a video game. <laughs> um, Skyrim, it's, Skyrim was a little different than, uh, the other Elder Scrolls games, I think, because a lot of the lore, they weren't really writing more lore as they were reliving old lore with the, with the whole Dragonborn thing, and, um, the voice, the way of the voice, and the zoom, and the dragons, and things of that nature, um, they didn't break as much ground as they did with, say, Oblivion, where it was more, there was more there for you to look at, because then you got into, like, the Amulet of Kings and and Akatosh, and, of course, you know, Molag Ball and Mayrin's Dagon and all of the, the Deja Princes, and you actually got to see the kind of, well, hell that they could wreak on a world, and it gave them a lot more to actually work with, um, but the Dragon Age, the lore here was just, they had so much of it, just starting off, I mean, if you go and you check out, ooh, here, set the reports real quick, if you go and you check out, uh, like, any of the wiki pages, they've got boatloads of lore there, like Dragon Age, the first one, I mean, they, they get into so much, you get into the, the Grey Wardens and the Blight, and um, elves, how elves in, in Thetis are second-class citizens, not not even second-class citizens, how they're, they're third-class citizens, they're not normal, they're not treated, you know, they're not like Tolkien elves, or like elves in pretty much any other fantasy-style game, they're, they're basically slaves, uh, which I found fascinating. And I'm actually already done with this, so I don't need to do that. Back out of here. Got anything in Orle yet? Nope. Does not look like it. Okay, that's good. Um. Yes, exactly. Morrowind and Oblivion gave us so much more lore um, than Skyrim did. I'm not saying Skyrim's not a fantastic game, because it is a fantastic game. I absolutely freaking loved it. Um, but I'm hoping that the next Elder Scrolls game goes into something that we haven't already seen. I kind of, I like the idea of following in Tiber Septim's shoes, in his footsteps, but those are awfully big boots to fill. And I don't think I quite managed to get to that point because, you know, you could be like, a companion and a member of the Dark Brotherhood and, you know, a member of the Guildmaster of the Thieves Guild and, you know, a whole bunch of this other crazy stuff and you were either Imperial or East Stormcloak or blah 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 and now that all that's take now that all that's done, I'm interested in seeing where they're gonna go, um, where they're gonna go from there. But, uh, enough of that for now. We're actually gonna go and we're gonna put around here, Uncharted South Arches of the Southern Brotherhood. I kind of want to get out of the Hinterlands. I know I have a lot of quests there, but at the same time, it's just kind of like I want to do other things. I have been in 
that have been in the Hinterlands for the better part of the past, like, five or six times that I've streamed this. It's time for me to go do something else. I think we're going to go up to the Storm Coast just because. Because I don't need a reason, that's why. Unfortunately, Varric, I am leaving you behind. And I'm bringing all my mages. I'm bringing my mages. Apparently a party full of mages is just, like, ridiculously stupid OP. Well, see, that's the thing. Um, Bethesda isn't actually working on the uh, Elder Scrolls Online. That's all um, another company. Um, they basically, I wouldn't say they necessarily bought the rights, but they have Bethesda's blessing to, to use the Elder Scrolls universe, but Bethesda's not, that's not like their main game right now. Um, they kind of push that off onto whoever, I think it's Zenimax. Zenimax, that sounds right. Uh, Zenimax Games is is playing around mostly with that right now, while uh, the people, the folks at Bethesda, I can only assume, are working on the next Fallout game, um, which I have not played. I like the uh, concept of the Fallout games. Um, I'm just more of a fantasy kind of person myself, so I tend to stick to the Elder Scrolls and. Dragon Age and World of Warcraft and things of that nature. Although you give me a good steampunk game like, like Dishonored was, and and we'll talk. Cause I love me, I love me some dystopian style video games like that. Your worship, for what and of course worth. we get Welcome some talking. Story. So I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts are in. What Skyrim had working for it was a so? massive a mod community. I'm actually thinking about terrain, playing another yet another. Skyrim game and seeing what I can do, what kind of crazy stuff I can do with that. I'll do what I can to find our people. I look into everything. Thank you, Your Worship. That's a relief. Because it's the more quests. Exactly and let's face it, it's an RPG, and the more quests you have, the better off you are. We haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the wardens either. But uh, I was talking about Good luck. And uh, some the of the air. other lore I hear um, earlier. I actually, I'm kind of surprised they didn't do this. Because if I really wanted to play like the ultimate, like black sheep, <laughs> in <laughs> in Sadus, I would have played an elven mage. Um, mages, depending on where you're from, are either feared and chained up, basically, or followed around by Templars, or they control massive amounts of resources, and they're basically like in charge, they like run the whole government, but those guys are kind of, yeah, they just leased out the IP for for the Elder Scrolls, um, and I've played a little bit of the Elder Scrolls online, and I was in the beta, and honestly, it just, you know, you get used to that, you're the hero kind of mentality with with the Elder Scrolls games, because you know you're the hero of Gvatch, and then you're the Dragonborn, and of course, and you know, Vivic City, you do everything with Oblivion. You just kind of get used to that sort of being the hero mentality, being the one person in all of Tamriel that is going to do anything about anything, every anywhere. Um, so, uh, although I did like. I did like the Dragonborn DLC for Skyrim because I like being able to go up to Solstheim and then looking out over uh, and seeing uh, the Red Mountain and Morrowind and how it's still all ashy and crazy. Like, I need a journal. Game house. I'm gonna go ahead. There are all, always rifts. This is the, the entire point of this game is um, during this conclave. I was totally talking about this and got completely off track. Um, during the conclave, a peace conclave between the Templars and the Mages, um, something happened. And this huge, gigantic green rift opened up and killed everything, except for you. You were at the conclave for whatever reason. I was a mage. I'm playing a mage, so that would probably be my reason for being there. Um, and a, a huge rift into the Fade opened up and just killed every, everyone, everyone there. Except for you. And now you have this mark on your hand, on your left hand. Um, it, it reacts every time you're near uh, Fade Rift. There are these big green glowing pulsing crystals, and if they 
stay open, more and more fade monsters can come through. So you have to go and you have to find these rifts, you have to defeat the monsters, and then you have to close them, and you are the only one who can close them. Based around this, you are... You formed with Cassandra and the help of your party here. Um, you formed what's called the Inquisition. Now, the Inquisition's only been formed one other time, uh, and it grew so massive and so fast, and it grew so much in influence-wise that uh, it had to be disbanded because people were afraid that you were basically going to take over the world. Now, this was uh, a long time ago, um, so it's not really anything. We got those must be the bandits Harding mentioned. These are blood bandits. Oh, and I'm a I'm a storm mage. Not that this rain is actually, you know, helping me it would be nice if it were. But um that means I I just I focus on um uh, electric magic, like lightning and stuff like that. And there's a bear. There's a bear there. Bears are tough. I mean, it's level 8, so it's not really all that bad. I'm level, like, 6, I think, right now. Yeah. And of course we come over here and we see if there's anything on the dead bodies which disappear within moments. Um, and it does not appear to be. Beware of falling rocks. Oh, is nice. Then we're just gonna run around and explore here and see all the really strange creatures that Thetis has around. Um, but anyways, uh, so uh, you, with the help of, of Cassandra, have have reformed the Inquisition, and the Inquisition's purpose at this point in time is to uh, close these rifts, and there are they are literally everywhere, and there are apparently massive rifts all over the place, and it is your job, being the only person who can handle this, to handle it. Um, the problem comes in is that uh, they are calling you the Herald of Andraste. Now, Andraste is a huge religious figure in Thetis, um, who, there's a whole bunch of story on her, I'm not going to really get into it right now, because I don't remember most of it off the top of my head, but, don't need you getting any closer to me. I am a mage, and therefore very freaking squishy. You need to stay away from me. <laughs> you need to die in a fire. I will show you what all of my mages are set up to do right now. And yes, that is us being awesome, swinging spell stage around, and Cassandra in there. Being a tank. Oops. Do my stuff. I want it all. Give it to me now. Hmm. I don't know if I can claim this in the name of the Inquisition. Um, so yeah, that is your entire purpose right now. You're running around, you're building your power, you're trying to get your, you're trying to get everybody to help you basically at this point. So you're you're trying to make friends with the the renegade mages, and you're trying to make friends with the Templars, and you're trying to make friends with the Chantry. Uh, the Chantry doesn't like you, unfortunately, because they're calling you the Herald of Andraste, and they think that's sacrilegious. Which it might be. Because, honestly, I don't know if, if that's necessarily something I should be being called or not, but I'm not the one who's actually making these decisions, so I don't really know. I'm just kind of going along with it, because... I am the only one who can close these rifts, so anything and, that anybody... Anything that I can do to make this easier is going to just make my life easier in the long run. Even though, you know, my life is, is just not going to be easy at all. Because, you know, 
Inquisition generally doesn't lend itself very well to being liked, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> need those for requisitions. Actually, probably should have talked to the requisition officer before I came up here, but I didn't. So, it looks like this is the area. I just need to figure out what I'm supposed to be looking for. This is advanced to the rendezvous point. I don't see anything I'm supposed to activate here. Maybe I need to come in here. Okay, so Vitar is for the Kudari only. Um, they are another race of people who are here, and they are another race of people who are not actually looked highly upon. Um, it's, it's pretty much if you're not human, you're kind of, you know, nothing. Sort of, sort of business. Um, just kind of unfortunate, because there are a lot of different races here that are pretty amazing. Oh, uh, well, no dwarves. Dwarves are pretty accepted, I think. Pretty accepted and liked. I don't have my dwarf with me here. Um, he's a rogue. His name is Varric. He's kind of amazing. Sure, there's nothing else in here. I'll look at the map. It looks like the bandits are kind further along the beach. It's like I found what I was looking for. <laughs> Requisition and mercies crest to challenge the bandit leader, which means I need a deep stalker hive, which means I need to figure out what deep stalker. It means I'm going to come over here and I'm going to mess this ram up for reasons that can only be described as because I feel like it. Um, <laughs> One down. Here. So we're gonna go just and, and mostly it looks to be I mean this game is mostly a lot of exploration, there's a lot of running around. I could be on a horse right now, but honestly it doesn't really make a difference how I get around, if I run, if I ride a horse. My people are basically on foot behind me anyway, so it's not like it makes a difference. Um <laughs> Um, and the story thus far, for anybody who may or may not have been, who may be catching up, um, I have already approached the Chantry and asked them for help with the Inquisition, and they have pretty much told me, um, in no impolite terms, no completely impolite terms, where I can, uh, where I can put my request. In, in not very nice tones and not very nice manners. Um, the Templars have also done the same thing. They have told me that I can stick my request when the sun doesn't shine. Um, and that actually has Cassandra, who is my sword and shield lady over here, kind of upset because she actually works for the Templars. Um, she is a seeker. Um, she's one of the people who's charged with tracking down the uh, rogue mages. She's a seeker. That's what she does. Um, so uh, I was approached by mages then, and the mages were like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. Let's, uh, let's do this. I'm down like four flat tires. You're a mage. I'm a mage. Let's do this, right? And I'm like, okay, cool. They're like, meet us in this place. Well, I get to this place, which is in the Hinterlands. That was actually in last episode, and it's up on YouTube if you're interested in seeing it. I'm just checking around here to make sure there's nothing around that I can't use. I don't need all three. I have, like, so much all fruit at this point, it's actually funny. Um, my armor is kind of rust in this rain. 
<laughs> and I, I find... I find the mages, and it's like... And it's like, and I, I talked to the lady that I thought I saw before because it was a female elf. And I was like, oh, hey, cool. I know you. I'm here. Let's let's do this. Let's, let's, let's have a conversation about what's going on here. And she's like, I've never seen you in my life. And I'm like, uh, okay, but you're the one who asked me to come here. And she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And you find out that she's actually an indentured slave. Or, I'm sorry, let me put it in the politically correct terms. Indentured servant um, to uh, a mage from Tevinter. Now, Tevinter is is that is a place where mages are basically, um, well, money grabbing assholes. Uh, and they're all they're doing is they're looking for power. That's it. That's all they want. They want power. They want our power. They want more prestige. Uh, Templars are not welcome there. They have them, but they're basically kept on a very, very short leash so that the, the Tevinter Mages can do whatever it is that they please. And what they please is whatever happens to tickle their fancy at that point in time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so I find out that he basically has one of these, the, the leader of these Renegade Mages, um, as an indentured servant, and in exchange for the protection of the Tinder Mages, the Renegade Mages have offered to basically learn, be, be trained, as, as the Tinder Mages like to tell people. Um, don't tell my people. Um, gotta level all my people up here in a second. Yeah. Power. That's what we need. We need power. We need more power. Power gets us into see people and, and places and stuff like that. But, um, so I sit down with Tevinter Mage to be like, okay, well, how are we going to do this? You're the one who sent, or she, it's like, she's the one who, who sent, who brought me here to, to deal with these people. I already don't have the Templars working for me, and we think there's something wrong with them, and the Chantry thinks I'm a heretic, so that's not going to actually work. Um, so I kind of need all the friends that I can get at this point. And he's like, oh, you know, well, well, let's sit down, let's talk about it, let's figure this stuff out. And then Mage Boy's son comes in, and he's acting like he's got a problem, like he's sick and stuff like that. And he grabs the midsection, and he falls over, and I catch him. And I'm sitting here, and I'm staring at my screen, and I'm like... He's put, he, that would have been the perfect time for him to pass a letter to me. And, of course, you don't see it at first, but I'm like, okay, no problem, sure. Well, whatever, we'll deal with it. Well, the, the, the mage lord's like, oh, i got to take care of my son, you know, we'll, we'll talk later. We'll deal with this at, at some other point in time. I'll basically, don't call me, I'll kind of a situation. And as the son and the mage lord get up and leave, I look down, and my character looks down in her hand, and there's a note there. And I'm like, okay, so what is going on here? It's like, I'm, like, struggling to get help. I need help at this point. I just need, I need people to believe that I'm not trying to, um, screw people over. <laughs> I am actually trying to help, trying to fix the world. The world's problems right now because the world's got some serious problems with these rifts, and I'm the only one who can handle it, and I can't do this by myself. So that's pretty much where I've left off with the main story, and now I decided to uh, go out and explore some more of the world for a little bit. Um, I was in the hinterlands, I was running around there, and I decided I'm done. I can go back there anytime I want to, and I just decided to come up here to the stormlands and. Here's where I am. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to level my people up real quick. And there we go. Cassandra is my tanky person. She's the one who goes in there and makes sure that nobody hits me in the face because my beautiful face um, can't take a hit to save my life. So <laughs> I am going to...
do that. For Cassandra, Vivienne is my blowy uppy magey. She likes to blow things up. I like to let her blow things up. And then fire in this. You know how in, in Skyrim, fire does something, frost does something, and uh, storm magic does something? It's the same basic principle here, only they're a little different. Frost slows people down. Makes sense, right? It's kind of cold. Um, storm magic, lightning magic paralyzes people. Okay, that'd be kind of shocking. Haha, <laughs> oh, you see what I did there? Um, and fire magic actually terrifies people. So you light them on fire and they literally like run around like scared, like chickens, little chickens with their heads cut off. Uh, so it makes for a great kind of like a minor CC. Magic is great minor CC abilities. We are going to go ahead and we're going to... I think I have that already. It's okay. Both of those. Yeah, I have both of those. Okay, so I need to come down here. Mm -mm. We're gonna go with Wall of Fire. <laughs> I guess that sounds like it's entertaining. And Solus is my spirit mage. Now, there is no healing magic in this game. Okay, there were in Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2, but there is nothing in this game. So I have to. Um, spirit magic is you can eventually be used to minor heal minor injuries, but mostly this is like a like it's almost like a like a discipline priest in, in World of Warcraft. Okay, he puts bubbles on me, he dispels bad things off of me, he dispels good things off of my enemies, and um and it's 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 it's, it's pretty excellent. And he can also like mind blast people, but I'm like no, he's not allowed to do that. I don't let him do that. I'm like, no, you know how I do that. Alright, there you go. They're all good to go. Well, I'm gonna actually... Uh, let me check my inventories real quick. Because I just picked up a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, they, I just picked up a whole bunch of stuff, so I need to see what exactly it is that I can use off this, off the top of my head right now, viral and stuff, which I still can't use. Still need to be level 8. Still only level 6. Can you, yeah. I guess I says I can use a bow, but why would I use a bow? Why don't you stick gas magic at things? Just curious. Just curious to know why that would ever be a thing. Swedish fingers. Oh yeah, her sword looks like a hand, and it's kind of creepy looking, and I wish I could show it to you, but maybe when I get back out of the world. Um. Let's see if I can't get her. What is she using right now? The soap of ice staff. What she's got right now. She can't use that. I can get... He's got the staff of dragon. You know, under a slice of lightning. She's just for her. Is that better? Oh, yeah, it is. Here, put, oh, can I not use that? Rogue only. <laughs> Armor, fine. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's no fair. <laughs> and she wears the heavy stuff. Cassandra does. Vivienne. She's not going to look spectacular anymore, but at least it's going to keep her safe, so. And the helmet. And she's got that on. Solus has got his stuff on. I, of course, would see. And have my stuff on. I can't use that because I'm not Canari. Really? I'm wearing 
of 63 armor rating. Okay, I'm like, why did that say 11 there for a second? And I was like, anyways, we're good. No major changes, so now we take a look and see what we're doing. Oh, that is a rift. That is a rift there. And there are a whole bunch of things around here for us to find. Oh, we do that. But first, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. We're gonna get um, more camps because more camps means more power, and it, ultimately, it means an easier chance for me to, to to move around on the map because then I have more bases from whence to start. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And it puts our little marker down here. And then we can keep on keeping on. But first, we're going to continue looking around because there is inevitably going to be stuff around here. Well, that's nice. It's so in-depth, there are supplies and horse poop. Not, <laughs> not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. So I'm actually kind of surprised that I can't, like... Claim, like, stake a claim on this, because this would be a great place to have a camp, but I didn't write the game, so I don't make the rules. I'm go that way, can I? Is there any way back here for me to go? Nope. Let's go this way. Go that way! I kind of like this. I like the, the weather. I, I wish... A little bit that you can see the wind blowing the, the trees and stuff. And apparently, I decided that ram needed to die, and I've got like two mages who are like <laughs> winging spells at it. Whatever, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> die! Um, I'll take it all. Eventually, it'll be used. Um, snap! Oh, snap! That's dragon. I can't save. No, no, no. I just saved. I'll be okay. We're gonna do this, because this is gonna be entertaining. I'm either gonna die in, like, half a second, or... I don't know, but... Front left leg? Really? I'm only attacking the front left leg? That is a giant. It is level 8. The dragon is lying away because it has had enough of this. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about right there. Vivienne just kind of got out. <laughs> she got oh bad. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Vivian. No! Don't throw that rock at me. Oh. Oh, that kind of sucked. Holy crap. I may be not doing that. Cassandra looks like she's holding up. That girl's got some. Homes to her. So, although I should, I'd probably back out and reload because uh, in the end, getting her butt kicked like that, my dudes aren't going to get, the two people who are unconscious right now aren't going to get any experience for this. I can get them up though. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. Hopefully Cassandra can handle all that. So being hit by gigantic rocks kind of sucks. Like it's like, no way for me to like, do anything about that either. It's like, it just hits you and you're dead and you're done. It's finished. <laughs> awesome. Alright. 
It was almost bad, but we got that dragon down, and there's a rift over there. We'll actually um, come over here. Magnetic staff, I wonder. We're going to save the game. Um, because, yes, I'm sure I want to overwrite that. Thank you. <laughs> um, and we're going to see what that does. Magnetic staff. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Gotten to that yet. Neither are you, clearly. Woo. I ask because of your accent. I would have thought one that dragon is gone. He has disappeared. He is out of there. He just was like, I am not is having any of this. I wish someone had told me None of this crap. Alright, time to start taking and this is this is where we show off the, the portal skills here, where we start taking down the fade monsters. Oh, that's your shades. Not bad. Level 6 is. Uh, and the idea is to kill a bunch of these dudes. And then get in as close as I possibly can. And then start dealing with the wall itself. Or the, uh, the rift itself. Loves to do that to me. And of course, the rift is right above my head so that I can't see what the frack is going on. I am out of health potions, so this is going to be bad. Now I can just close the fade rift. That's good. We got rid of all the monsters. Oof! And see, yeah, there's a lot of experience right there, too. Oof. Let's look at that. See? That's nice. Much influence. And now we can hopefully... Find our way around here. Not run into that dragon again. And get to our next camp. Hopefully we don't run into anything too terrible. Let me go back this way. See if we can get up this way. And we shouldn't. Shouldn't run into anything too terrible, hopefully. I'm gonna RPG climb my way up the mountain here. Huh. That looks like the place we're looking for. stuck on like pebbles and stuff. It's like, what? What? Puff State's landing. Well, uh, Puff States are mages like me who are on the run from the Templars, technically, I guess. Templars can suck it, te technically. Keep coming after me like I'm a bad guy. Like, I'm good! Summerston. 
taking it. Of course. Taking it. Seven of them, not bad. I'm no else. Just gonna like RPG slide my way down here. No biggie. Ain't no saying. Kendra, what are you doing? <laughs> the girl's back there being all crazy. Being all cray cray. Let's look around. Yes, let's look around. And hopefully, not kill ourselves in the process. <laughs> There we go. Besides the elf fruit, I know about the elf fruit. There's got to be something else around here you wanted me to look at. It's definitely back here, whatever it is. I need to like, get right on it to activate it. What is this? There. Grey Warden's Journal. Okay. This camp was abandoned some time ago. Moving on. Moving on, moving on. Here we go, here we go. And a camp! Ta da! And we set up a camp here. Like, this doesn't look like a safe place to set up a camp. Shall we make camp or move on? Yep! Have fun, Kaylee! And we're set, and we're health, and we're full, and we're good, and we're gonna save, and I think that is going to be it uh, for tonight. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for sharing your stream with me, Kaylee. I appreciate it. Um, I will be back on Thursday with more Dragon Age Inquisition. We will be starting off from here. We'll be doing whatever it is that I feel like doing. Probably advancing more of the storyline so they get some more power to do so. Um, thank you for watching. Remember, find me on Facebook, uh, Inquisitor Aura Cosplay Nerdery. You can follow me on Twitter at Inquisitor Aura. Don't forget to go check out my Patreon page. Uh, new post on Angry Healers is out today. Um, it's about knowing raid cooldowns for different classes, so make sure you go and check that out. And don't forget to listen to Dalaran Academy. It comes out every Friday on d20crit.com. I am Inquisitor Aura. And it has been a pleasure sharing with you. Bye-bye.